What letter of the alphabet do you see, folks? Do yourself a favor, man. I'd go and pick up a couple shares of this. And the cool part about it, I mean, I'm an open book with you guys. So, I, you know, there ain't no secrets with me. You can see exactly where my price objective would be in the short term. And, oh, gee whiz, look, there's a big old gap right at that level. What a surprise. And then if this thing really does get going, oh, look, there's a trend line off at the top. And there's a fucking bomb level sitting right there. The econ's coming out today is the Fed has actually gotten its wish and it's starting to break the employment market. So just be aware of that. The interesting thing with that, though, is that if the economy is actually breaking and they're going to be more unemployed, that can't be good for the economy in general. So what a big surprise. Gold is taking off like a rocket here. Interesting to see things like silver uh, doing very, very well. But as a testament to the fact that these are inflationary concerns, what you actually see from the professor of economics, and I found this fascinating, the professor of economics is saying, uh, people, we have a major problem here. So there is the professor of economics. So you tell me, what is the professor of economics saying today? Uh, I don't think the professor is very happy. Uh, interesting, we could probably do some fog and bombs on here just to validate levels. Oh, what a surprise. So we stalled out at two. 2.618. <laughs> it's almost cliche when I put these dark charts on here day after day after day and you see these levels play out. It's shocking. So, you know, professor of economics, you can see the big M up top here. I suppose we could probably also do a little one off of there. But it looks like the professor of economics wants the price of copper to go right back down to these, uh, to these, um, you know, I guess, what is that, early March lows. Uh, if we zoom out on a higher time frame basis, interesting how, uh, you know, looking at something like the daily chart, you know, we're actually got a progression of lower highs and lower lows, and there's that M that just came in there. So, uh, you know, if we do our fog and bombs off of there. So, you know, Professor of Economics is screaming trouble here. And it does make sense why gold is moving up as much as it is. I mean, look at that darn chart. I did hear somebody talking about bull flags recently, but in other markets, I'd have to say that's a pretty darn impressive looking bull flag. And just in the near term, I don't see any reason why we don't hit 2100 here. And now we could probably even uh, do like fog and bombs off of this range. And we get to, oh boy, look at that. I love when you see this is this is the definition of confluence if there ever was one. And my hunch is off of this old range, if we actually do things like 127s, 113s, probably 127s, probably the way to go here. Probably going to see that that lines up nicely with those fog and bombs. So there's 127, yeah. So 127. 4.669, 2.618. I'm starting to see a lot of confluence for the gold up here around 2200 and change. Very, very bullish picture for gold. And it's interesting because we have been talking about this recently, you know, things like Newmont mining, probably not the best to see it here. I suppose we could talk about silver in a bit, but maybe uh, we'll get into this in the after party. I have talked to you guys a little bit about Newmont in the past. Newmont did very, very well in the 1980s. And I suppose we could probably do fog and bombs off of here. Uh, where are we here? Chaos. Boom. There we go. So uh, if anything, what this is probably pretending if we do go up through the top here, which I don't see why we wouldn't. Bit of a gap up there at about 74 bucks a share and 77's a fog and bomb. I don't see why that wouldn't happen. But what's really interesting about Newmont is if we go back into the 1980s, you notice, now we got to go way, way back here. There's the 1980s. I get the feeling that what you've seen out of Newmont uh, just over the past 5, 10 years is this kind of action just getting set up for this moonshot. And, you know, you can see it went right off the darn screen. <laughs> I mean, look at what Newmont did right into like 1987. Right? And there was a big crash in the stock market in 87. The market just got bit up crazy like, but I wouldn't be surprised if we get a scenario that's very similar to that. So uh, back to uh, current market, you can kind of see that same sort of pattern. Um, and are we looking for that moonshot up top? I am. Um, and that's going to take us, you know, even if we use just this big range right here, I'm going to go fog and bomb off of there. You can kind of see where this thing wants to go. 
And this has actually been confirmed, right? We have broken up through the top there. Look at that, the number's right off the damn screen. So, ah, interesting, just off of this range, notice 877, 2.618, there's that confluence stuff again. And actually, you know what, hey, here's a special treat for you. Uh, here's a stock, uh, we were talking about silver there just a moment ago. I mean, this thing's setting up just as we speak. In fact, I was talking in the day trader room. So another gentleman who was in there is a wicked silver bull. And I was like, well, dude, there you go. I mean, it's staring you right in the face. What letter of the alphabet do you see, folks? Do yourself a favor, man. I'd go and pick up a couple shares of this. And the cool part about it, I mean, I'm an open book with you guys. So, I, you know, there ain't no secrets with me. You can see exactly where my price objective would be in the short term. And oh, gee whiz, look, there's a big old gap right at that level. What a surprise. And then if this thing really does get going, oh, look, there's a trend line off of the top and there's a pocket bomb level sitting right there. So if anything, uh, probably want to talk to the gang tonight in the secret options formula club meeting about maybe uh, bull call spreads, you know, uh, something like a net debit spread uh, trade, maybe like buy the uh, 24s and write like maybe the 30s or something like that. What a bullish looking chart. Holy moly. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.